Hey, single Capricorns, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Singles only, who's coming in for you? Singles only, Capricorn. Singles only, who's coming in for you, Capricorn? We have Aquarius, who's coming in for Capricorn singles? Mercury, Gemini, two air signs so far. And we have water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. <clears throat> and we do have fire at the bottom of the deck. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So I feel right away with the energy of strong air coming through. This person is very talkative. They like to communicate with you. I also feel like this person is highly intelligent. They may process things in a very logical way. Okay, so when you talk to this person, it's like it's best to just be a straight shooter with this person. Like, talk to them logically speaking, okay? They do have a little bit of water here to balance them out. They could be a water sign with uh, air in their chart, or they could be an air sign with water in their chart, okay? Like I said, the water will help to balance this person out a bit because we do have strong air. So this person, they love their freedom, Okay, even if they're in a relationship, this person would love um, to have some me time. This person would would be fine being by themselves. If you're a person that works a lot, most Capricorns work a lot. Okay, this person is not needy. Okay, they would be fine being by themselves and they will respect your boundaries and your freedom as well. Okay. Of course, with the energy of water, it makes this person um, sentimental. This person could be sensitive. This person could be very in touch and in tune with their emotions. Okay. Psychic energy, intuitive energy. <clears throat> Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Let's get into it. Who's coming in for single Capricorns? New love messages, please, for single Capricorns. Who's coming in for single Capricorns? Who's coming in? Let's see. Single caps. Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> the star card. Aquarius came out first. Okay. Yeah, this is their major arcana. So strong Aquarian energy, <clears throat> even if it's in their chart. It doesn't have to be their sun sign. So the star. What else? Seven of swords. Who's coming in for single Capricorn? The devil energy. Your card. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so I'm laughing a little bit or chuckling because it's like someone see you, sees you as everything, but being very coy about it. Seven of Swords. Keeping things on the low. Okay. About you, the devil energy, Capricorn. So show me this. The star with the Seven of Swords. Four of Pentacles. It's like they're just sitting there watching. Show me. Four of Swords. What? This person is not doing anything. Could be an Aries for some of you because of the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Swords. The, I always think of the fourth month. Okay. When we start seeing numbers back to back that are the same. I feel like this person, they are, they're literally not saying anything. <laughs> okay. They're sad. What in the world? Five of Cups is here. They're sad. What's going on with this person? Who is this? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me. For single Capricorns. What's going on with this person? The Tower. It could be a Scorpio for some of you. Kaboom. The Seven of Pentacles is here. And the King of Swords. Oh, some of you may be thinking about a Scorpio from your past. But you may be encountering a King of Swords. Some of you may have also had to go cold on a certain person here. Yeah. Someone is looking at the past here, single Capricorns, over how communication was shut off. Show me. Yeah, Queen of Swords. See, King and Queen of Swords. Yeah, that shows you right there. 
it's like someone keeps looking at the past and what they did or how things transpired between the two of you. Vice versa, this could be you as well. This person could be seeing you as this, like you're you're very closed off to them now. Not speaking, not talking. Yeah, someone feeling left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. You could have left this person out in the cold, hangman. Yeah. Could be a Pisces. Show me hangman. The hermit. Yeah, it's all the cards of being quiet and going cold. This could be a Virgo for some of you. Yeah. It's like... This person still has feelings, but there's a lot of, like... Giving each other the cold shoulder. That's what I feel. Giving each other the cold shoulder. Show me for single single Capricorns. What is this person's intentions? What are their intentions? Whoa. The Page of Cups fell out. <clears throat> Page of Cups. Ten of Swords. They could want to apologize for hurting you or ending it. Four of Wands. What's their intentions? Six of Swords. And the Chariot. Cancerian energy. <clears throat> yeah, for some of you, it could be a cancer. I feel like more so there was the opportunity for a relationship or for some of you, you did have a relationship with this person, but the two of you broke up. You became single. You moved on with your life. Six of Swords the chariot or this person could be apologizing for leaving this connection. They left. You may have stayed, but this person left. Yeah. And this caused fighting, arguing, five of wands, conflict between the two of you. Lots of tension. Divine spirit, Holy spirit. <clears throat> Show me what's going on. Two of wands. King of Pentacles, your energy, Knight of Cups. They could want to try to date you again. Knight of Cups is not a big cup. Neither is the Page of Cups. But they could try to offer like an olive branch or try to get you to reason with them. This is the same energy I got for Virgos, for Virgo, Virgo singles. So you may have that in your chart. You could be dealing with the Virgo. But yeah, I just feel like someone trying to offer an olive branch. There's that five of wands again. Two of pentacles. Ace of cups. <clears throat> kind of afraid of an argument with you. Yeah, it's like if I approach single Capricorn or if I try to talk to them or bring it up. Uh, you know, it may start a fight. I don't really want to fight. Two of pentacles, ace of cups. I just want... To express emotion. Ten of Pentacles. Mm. Yeah, for some of you, it could be a Gemini or a Sagittarius. Some of you, you've, you've known this person for a while, for some of you, with the energy of the Ten of Pentacles. This may not be someone new. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, how single Capricorn feeling about this person, the situation? <clears throat> Temperance, yeah. Knight of Swords, mm. Empress, you're waiting for this person to say something to you. Yeah, you do have your guard up. It's like, well, I'm standing my ground because I have standards. I have standards. Yeah, and if it's like, if you're not meeting those standards, then I'm remaining the Empress. Temperance with the Knight of Swords, it's like, I want you to come toward me. I'm remaining as the empress. I'm not going to move. <clears throat> yeah. How single Capricorn feeling about this person? You're remaining as the queen of wands. This is, this is very boss type energy. I really wouldn't expect anything less from a single Capricorn, honestly. Because you guys, you usually know what you want. You're very sure of yourself. Okay. How single Capricorn feeling? The Lovers is here, Gemini's Energy, and the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> Let me take a sip.
you do recognize the passion between the two of you. Some of you dealing with a fire sign. It's like, but again, I have standards and I need an emperor to my empress, an empress to my emperor. But you see the passion, you feel it, but you're guarding yourself. Nine of wands, eight of wands. It's like, almost like when this person comes around, you may get triggered by them. Is There's a triggering, like you may like feel a tightness like in your chest or your knees may feel weak a little bit when this person comes around. There's something about this person that does trigger you that makes you feel maybe out of control when you're used to feeling in control. There's something about this person. I'm feeling it very strongly, single Capricorns. This person gets to you, okay? They may get under your skin or they may know exactly the right things to say to get you to listen, okay? And that may irritate you. Nine of wands with the eight of wands. You may want to take off from this person. Like ignoring their phone calls or like, I can't talk to them. I can't see them. I can't talk to them or I can't be around them too long. I just can't be around this person too long. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What does this person want to say to single Capricorn at this time? The High Priestess is here. Pisces energy. Mm, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Six of Pentacles. They may surprise you with the High Priestess. It may come out of nowhere. So there may be a surprise. Okay. They may purchase something for you, buy you something, give you something that you've always wanted. Investing financially. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. That's like, you know almost like co-signing for somebody. They may try to do something like an act of service, a surprise. I see them trying to surprise you. What else? Eight of Cups, Justice, Libra's Energy, Will of Fortune. Trying to do the right thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I still feel like, see, with the Ace of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Five of Swords, I still feel like your strategy is to stay away from this person. Even if they come in with the truth, it's like Three of Wands. I don't want to hear it. That's why I was saying that it's this energy of this person triggers you. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What is this person's motives? What are their motives? The World card. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords. They could watch you online a lot with the energy of the world card. They admire you, like really admire you, very attracted to you. But the Two of Swords, why? The Sun, Leo's energy, Ace of Wands, huh. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely very attracted to you. Their energy is coming off as pages and knights, though, okay? We see with the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, yes, there's a big something that they want to surprise you with or do for you. They could offer to pay for something for you, pay your bills, something like that, okay? Help you out financially. Like I was saying, co-sign for you. Do something that's tangible. They could do that for you. But it's very immature energy as far as what they're offering with their emotions. <clears throat> Ace of Wands is very passionate. They definitely want to make you happy sexually. Okay. What will come of this situation this week between single Capricorns and this person? Five of Swords. Three of Wands. Six of Wands. Okay. Okay. A lot of ignoring. You could ignore this person with their strategies. Five of Swords, they could go unheard or they could fall on deaf ears with the energy of the Three of Wands. And you're on your high horse, Six of Wands. It's almost like you're punishing this person. Are you punishing them? <laughs> Single Capricorns. 
it kind of feels like you're punishing this person. Like you want them to feel how you feel. That's how it feels. It, it, it feels like a bit of revenge. Revenge is what I feel. Yeah. The full energy. Ace of Swords. It's like tra la 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 la. I'm going on my own way. Three of Pentacles. Even if this person tries to communicate with me, they could try to call you with the energy of the Ace of Swords. That always reminds me of like a cell phone, like calling someone to give them the truth. They could try to meet up with you through pentacles. And it's like the full energy. Huh? No, I don't have time. You could tell this person. No, I don't have time today. I'm sorry. Like literally giving them the same energy they gave you at one point. Yeah, you're definitely giving it right back. Okay. This week, at least. Yeah. Who is this person? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit? Let me come to this deck first. Give me some advice or insight. What's going on in this connection with this person and single Capricorns? It says manifest. Date night. Whoa, we pulled two. No sex. <laughs> So if this person thinks that they're going to manifest a date with you and that they're going to get some, the answer will be no. Okay. I did say on your side that you are holding back from this person. Like you feel that sexual chemistry, but it's like, I have my guard up. Yeah. They could definitely tempt you with a date asking you out. But spirit is saying no. Say no to sex. Okay? Because mm. I feel like that that's a bit of a pull with you and this person. There could be a strong sexual chemistry, but maybe nothing else. Okay? Or maybe the two of you got along maybe as friends, you know, or there, there, were, there were feelings there. But no sex at all. It's like, okay, what is this? What are we? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Show me. Caution. Be careful of opening your heart. There may be issues. Yeah, we're about to come into Mercury Retrograde. Actually, my friend just reminded me. <laughs> we're about to come into Mercury Retrograde on April 1st. So yeah, around this time, remember exes come back a lot. We're in the shadow side of Mercury retrograde. So there may be a lot of issues with opening your heart to this person. Be careful, caution of opening your heart, especially around this time, Mercury retrograde. Yeah, someone wants intimacy. They could be spying on you. They want that, that sexual chemistry back with you. It could be a water sign for some of you or someone with water in their chart. I'm getting strong, like water sign Venus for some of you. Yeah, someone is definitely watching, watching, spying. Okay, show us who this person could be. Show us who this person is. Anything to indicate who this person could be. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. The letter D is coming through. The letter N is coming through. Whoa, something flew out. The 10th through the 16th. Those dates could be significant for someone of any month. A Thursday could be significant. The letter V is coming through. Monday could be significant. The letter R is coming through. A Saturday could be significant. Show me for a single Capricorn's person. The month of October. <laughs> October. <laughs> I was thinking Libra. October, Libra season. March, the month that we are currently in. Pisces season. Well, now we are in Aries season, even though it's still March. Okay? The end of March is Aries. Sunday could be significant. And one more, the letter Z is coming through. 
the letter F is at the bottom of the deck, okay? Insight or advice. What's going on with this person for single Capricorns? What's going on with this person for single Capricorns? Real feelings. It says you share true romantic feelings worth exploring. Someone feels like the two of you should explore this, okay? I feel like someone wants to see if your feelings for them are real. You may want to see if this person's feelings for you are real. Do you have real feelings for me? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Lasting love. Yeah. Is this a lasting love between us? Is this going to go past, past a sexual relationship? Can we get to the sex if we haven't been having any? Disguise just fell out. Some elements of this relationship are hidden. Yeah. Truth and clarity. Everything needs to be brought out and put out on the table. No more hiding feelings. No more hiding. That's for the cross watcher as well. Interested in a single Capricorn. Love language is affirmations. So your words could be very important to this person or vice versa. Okay. Their words could be very important to you. What they say to you could be very important. What else? Dreams come true. It says, have faith your rainbow will come smiling through. Even if it's not with this person, single Capricorns, have faith that your dreams will come true. The person that you want to be with, the person that you desire to have in your life, in your future, Dreams do come true. Yes, you will have what you want. It may or may not be with this person though. Okay. Alrighty, single Capricorns, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I do look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.